It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today we are going to learn how to take any 3D model and make it have a T-pose. For this project, we will need a 3D model editor, a 3D model, and a T-pose armature for reference. I will be demonstrating with Blender, a free and popular 3D model editor. I will be using Blender version 3.4.1. You can find a link to this in Blender's download page linked in the description. We can find 3D models with armatures for free on Sketchfab. I will be using this panel by Fero to demonstrate. Remember the type you choose to download. This will be important soon. I will be choosing .glb. To get an armature already in a T-pose, we'll use Mixamo, a free web-based 3D character animation service. Let's search for T-pose. Looks like we found it. Click download and FBX. Choose without skin. This will not download the mesh or body and just give us the bones also known as the armature. Now let's set up our workspace. I made a folder for this project and I moved the .glb model and the .fbx t-pose we downloaded to it. Let's open Blender and delete the default objects by clicking, dragging, and pressing the delete key. Let's import our armature. Mixamo currently uses .fbx. Now let's import our panda. Once you have a mesh, make sure it doesn't already have any bones. This could mess things up later. This panda does come with an armature and we'll need it Remove. I have another tutorial that walks you through the steps of removing the bones. It's linked down in the description. I'll speed up this part. Basically, our panda's mesh or body is attached to its bones. We'll put all of this into one collection or folder, detach them, and delete the bone. Once all the bones are gone, we are going to want our mesh to be one piece and not broken up into parts. To do this, hold shift and select any parts of the mesh, then click Ctrl and J to join them. If we miss this step, our model may act unexpectedly. The last bit of cleanup is to remove any duplicate vertices. Sometimes meshes you download will have these, but it's an easy fix. Click your object, go to edit mode, press A to select all, then click mesh, clean up, and merge by distance. The default should fix any direct overlap. You can adjust it higher if you need to, but it may affect the quality of your mesh. Our armature is a different size than our panda, so let's fix that. Select the armature and press S and move the mouse to zoom it how you would like. I'm zooming until the legs seem about right. You can also move the armature along any axis by pressing G and the key for the axis you want to move it along, either X, Y, or Z. Now duplicate our T pose by right clicking it in the inspector and choosing copy and then paste data blocks. And I'm going to hide it for now by clicking the I icon. Now, let's line up our bones with the panda's limbs. Move the bones into their matching positions on the panda. The bones in the armature we downloaded are labeled. You can see this by clicking on them. You can resize the bones and rotate them to your needs. Some bones might not have a match on the panda, like thumbs. These you can just remove. Once the bones are lined up, it's time to parent your mesh to the armature of bones. You'll want to select your mesh, then control select the armature. Right click, parent, and use automatic weights. Let's test that we're rigged up. Select the armature and go to pose mode. Select a bone and move or rotate it. Looks like the rig was applied properly. Now, let's pose our mesh into a T position like we wanted. And look at that. Together we have made our mesh into a T-pose using Blender and Armatures. If you'd like to take things a step further, like setting this pose as a rest position or accessing a whole library of animations for this model, you can find links to other tutorials down in the description. Please let me know down in the comments if I helped you. Have a great day and thanks for attending Class Outside.